you got to get rid of every last bit here. You have to throw every trace of Teresa out of this house. Yeah, we can donate it all to charity. Well, if you must, if it was left to me, I would have a great big bonfire out on the front lawn. <laughs> of course, people would talk. What, what are you doing? Mother, it's just her costume jewelry. Don't worry. No, no, no. Something, something is speaking to me here. What? Uh, huh? Just what I thought. <laughs> Van Cleef and Arpel, circa 1957. I'd say it's about 22 and a half carats, set in platinum. Probably worth about 40 thou, give or take a little. Ah, I wanted a nice little souvenir of the dear girl. Look, don't be like that. She is dead because of us. We don't really need to get rid of all of her things. I mean, she's not a threat anymore. Are you kidding me? She's a huge threat. Her memory is a threat. You don't want any reminders of her all over the mansion. You have to get rid of every trace. That way Ethan can forget about her and focus on you. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know if that's possible. Of course it is. Just erase all traces of her existence, and before you know it, Ethan will forget all about her. Well, I hope you're right. What the hell are you doing with Teresa's things? I mean, you practically packed up every single thing. I know that this is really sad, and I know that it's hard for you. That's why I got my mother to help me. I, I knew it would be just way too hard for you to do by yourself. I, I know it would just cause you a lot of pain to go through her things. Excellent job, sweetie. You're good, but no wonder. You take after me. I suppose you're right. Um, every single thing I see is breaking my heart in here. Me too. You too? You despise Teresa. You spent half of your life trying to ruin hers. Why on earth would any of this be painful to you? I really, I really don't need your false sympathy, Rebecca. You hated Teresa. I know that this is not painful for you. Ethan, it is never polite to speak ill of the dead. And, and everybody knows that, that we were never close. You referred to her as Terror Sita. But yeah, it's a term of endearment. Oh, just like the other ones, like a, a cucaracha, a slut, tramp, a couple other Mexican slurs I don't want to mention right now. Look, Ethan, do not get all high and mighty with me, all right? You know, I've had to make sacrifices because of... Teresa's death? What sacrifices? You've probably said enough. Hmm? Hmm? Seafood. I love seafood. I mean, especially shark. I mean, broiled with a little hollandaise sauce on it, but, but I can't eat it now. I mean, because what if I ate, you know, that shark, the one that ate Teresa, then it would be like eating Teresa, and then what if I, you know, choked on a little red toenail or something? Mother, stop it. And Jaws. Jaws is my absolutely favorite movie. I can never watch it again. I mean, because all I do is think that that's how Teresa died, you know, being chewed up by those nasty, sharp little teeth. Oh, that's enough. I mean, really. What? Rebecca, you're appalling. Well, I, I, I just wanted you to know that you're not the only one that's hurt by Teresa's death. I mean, the list goes on and on. I mean, uh, how about Chinese New Year? Huh? Can't ever have shark fin soup again, right? And um, the, the aquarium, the new aquarium. I can't go there because what if there was a shark? You and... have said more than enough. You are you are truly the most insensitive woman I've ever known. Good God, you know this may be a big old joke to you, but it's not a joke to Teresa and her family and the children that she left behind. Or me. Well, who's joking? I love shark fin soup. You know, sometimes I do not get what you see in him. He is so rude. For once in your life, would you just shut your mouth? Ah. He looks really sad. Well, yeah. I mean, of course he looks sad. 
I mean, Teresa's been turned into flotsam and jetsam by now. It's your job to make him forget. What the hell is wrong with you? You know, you completely embarrass me in there. Ethan now thinks you are the coldest woman alive. What? I just wanted him to know that he's not the only one who misses Teresa. You do not miss her. Well, you know, in an odd sort of way, I kind of do. I mean, she was the perfect target for all my anger. You know, sometimes even... You even appall me. Her blood is on your hands. What? Okay, there goes your conscience again. But, honey, blood washes off. All right, you finally have everything you want. I mean, Ethan is here. Teresa is dead. She can never try to steal him from you again. Well, she's still alive in his heart. Oh, would you just please be happy? I am happy. But we need to maintain some sort of level of decorum here, so will you please be dignified? If we keep uh, dancing on Teresa's grave every time Ethan is around, he's going to get a little suspicious, so just pretend to be sad. What do you think I was doing in there? How about that whenever Ethan's around, you just stay off the topic of Teresa just to be safe, okay? What's all that crap he's playing with? I don't know. Looks important to him. Yeah, so it must have been important to Teresa. Well, why don't you go in there and see if it's worth anything? And if it's not, just uh, throw it in the dumpster. <laughs>